Finally, we get to see the best Spain in the business. Mr. Robot is back, baby. That's what you like to see. The best Spain that has ever done it. I can't wait to see what's going to And it's going up against India. One, uh, a civilization, when I'm playing Spain, I struggle against India. So I'm going to be really interested to see how Robot plays this. I imagine we'll see some just... His, his, I don't know what it is about Robot. There's something... It's, it's just... Almost, it's almost unexplainable. It's just his timing is just beautiful. His aggression is it's just spot on every single time. So we're definitely going to keep a keen eye on Robot. Um, it's a pretty basic map. The, it could be... It'd be interesting to see if India, what they're going to go for. If they're going to go for the new Karnimata build or they're going to go for the Agra. I imagine we'll see Agra, especially with Oliveza. Who, if, I feel like he's quite a standard player. So I, I think we'll see an aggro from him. But where's the aggro going to go? Is it going to be in base? Uh, or is it going to go in the middle of the map? I imagine in base. That's my guess anyway. Because he is playing Spain. But we'll see. He's going to be picking up 75 food there. Which is really nice. But Robot's going to get 80 coin. <laughs> that is going to be juicy if he spots it that is. Interesting that he, he's carrying his dog and his uh, Duba, the pet monkey, uh, around with him. Um... Has its pros and cons, you know, um, especially if you've got a dog, at least let this guy go and scout. That would, you know, that would be wild. We'll have a look at his scouting pattern. But look, like he, he could have scouted triple the map that he already has, you know. Uh, he could have scouted where the herds are around here. But, you know, Robot is a, an ex he's a better player than I am. He's, he's an extremely good player, so um, that's what he's what deciding to do, keeping it simple. He's lost a lot of HP on his Explorer already. I wonder if we can... Uh, Oh, we can't, unfortunately. We'll take a quick look at what he's... So he's got 80 coins so far. Ah, 75 wood as well. And there was something at the top there, I believe. Okay, yeah, no, so 75 wood. So to, to two really good treasures. Um, so, although that is still, that's a lot of HP lost. So maybe that was his thought process whilst he's keeping everything together with him, just so he can kill treasures as quickly as possible. Ooh! Ooh, are we going to see a forward aggro from Oli? If Robot is smart here, he would be splitting up his dog, his Duba, and he would be trying to put them on the map somewhere to make it very difficult for the aggro to get actually get built. And it looks like he, maybe he wanted the aggro here. Maybe that's what Oli wanted. Maybe he wanted it here. I don't, don't know if there's enough space there, though. Uh, but he's, he's decided to take that back now. We'll see where he actually does build his aggro fort. Hello. Didn't quite have enough food though, so who knows? Maybe maybe he was just prepping for it. Where are you gonna go? Where's he gonna go, big boy? Where are you putting that big fat agra? Look at that big fat agra, beautiful. Kind of a difficult position because this tree line is actually making it really really difficult for Oliveza to put down a really efficient agra fort here. I mean, this house isn't isn't a particularly good house either, if I have to say, because Robot could decide to attack from this angle, and he could come all the way at the bottom here, and the aggro really wouldn't be getting in the way very much. But if he comes from the top way, the aggro is very, is very smart. However, I'm sure Robot will definitely be scouting that out, so he'll know exactly what, what the plan of attack is. We'll have a quick look at um, his deck here. So he's gone for three settlers, and he's gone for capitalism as well. Has he gone for capitalism? He has gone for capitalism. So interestingly enough, he hasn't got a TP, but he still managed to get two, uh, two, two cards uh, in age one, which is pretty insane. We'll see what his third is going. Now he's going for so yeah, so definitely more standard. Now he's going for the TP. So the thing that's effective about that is it, instead of going for the TP in age one, as soon as as soon as the game starts. You have to you have to chop wood essentially. Um, so what he's done is he hasn't affected his age up time. That he's going to be aging up at before about four minutes thirty. So very very good age up time. Um, and 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 getting the TP in transition doesn't impact his age up time. So yeah, really nice well play. We'll see where this is going. Seven hundred gold come in. Um, so he he doesn't have to have anyone got on gold at all. We, the, the, the thing that Ollie wants to be scouting right now is like, he needs to know. He needs to know where that tower's going to go. Robot's going to kind of play a bit of chicken with him. Look, Ollie's definitely kind of scouting for it. 
And Robot is, de- is making sure that these go down. He really wants them to go down because he does not want to know where this tower goes. He wants the element of surprise. That's that's half the battle when you're playing a good Spanish player is finding out where this tower goes because then you can prepare for where it's going to land. Take a quick look at Ollie, see what he's doing. We'll take a quick look at his deck as well. Yeah, pretty standard. Gone for distributive. Isn't got nothing else in age one. Um, first card is going to be uh, foreign logging, so it's going to give him that extra trickle as well. He does have that aggro. Oh, the poor doggy! No, Gordo goes down. R.I.P. Woof woof. So is he going to be making sea poise? Looks like we're going to see a batch of sea poison production as well. Maybe like a five sea poise semi, or maybe he's just going to play this out in age two. Has already made a couple. Not going to be able to do too much with uh, four C poise. I mean, th- this herd isn't great though. So, you know, Robot is kind of a bit uh, left out in the open here. We're going to get some more C poise as well. So probably wants to look at... I would be happy, if I was India right now, I would be happy with just taking this TP down. Because that would be a huge waste of 200 resources for Robot. Because, remember, he hasn't had that from age one. So he's only really just got it. So he's only going to get, you know, two or three passes before um, it could potentially go down. Um, but, you know, this explorer, he can make dogs. Uh, so age one army. Definitely be able to make short work of these two sea boys. He's definitely going to need more than two. Five more come in or four more coming in. But it's six minutes 30 and Robo's going to be aging up by now. There he is. I mean, he's not. He's almost halfway aged up. This TP ain't going down, buddy. 700 wood coming in now. That's what the TP was for. Making sure that 700 wood comes in really close. It's going to be tight. But he's going to be able to get it up. Now, where did his tower go? That's the question. Ah, okay. Interesting. Not the most aggressive. Not the most defensive either. But he's definitely going to be covering this this next herd. So maybe Robot was a little bit worried that there was definitely going to be some H2 rushing going on. Which there kind of is. So not the most aggressive rush though from Oni. He is making some sea poise. Some doggies going to be making. How many doggies is he going to be making? Oh, there's five doggies. That's actually going to be a problem. <laughs> if those dogs can get right in front of those sepoys' face, they're going to have a hard time dealing with it. Two sepoys go down. More doggies in production. The kennel's coming out to play. And it's just the amount of time. And these dogs are so efficient. They're only like 80 food. And they're like mini hazards. Oh, that was a really nice stun by the explorer. But an explorer going down now. The TP's not even. It's based barely a third of the way through. What another sepoy going down. And he's in age three right now. These dogs just doing so much damage, buying so much time. Really infuriating for Ollie. And these four hazards are gonna be able to clean up because these sepoys are pretty low. I mean that explorer's gonna be able to kill by this <laughs> another one goes down. Robot does it again. And you've got to remember, these sepoys got nerfed as well. So that uh, they've got nerfed a multiplier. Uh, minus one multiplier, I believe, versus uh, cavalry. So four hazards would, would definitely gobble those three sepoys up. That would be a really nice catch as well. He's going to try and run away to the sepoys. But the sepoys, I mean, is, is that an engagement robot's going to want to take? I, I mean, it's not a bad one. But it wouldn't be, it would be okay for Ollie as well. If he, if he micro the cavalry well, he'd be okay. Now, this is risky. I definitely want to wait for, for these Wadaleras to come in. Okay, so some rat puts going in for Oliveza. Interesting. Looks like he might want to get some cav and some rat puts and just kind of flank these uh, these falconets as best as he can. But some Wadaleros, some cav, some mixture of everything. Lance is coming in now. This is going to be such a problem. This is why I love robots so much, baby. Look at that deck. It's just beautiful. It's just beautiful age free play. So Robot, doesn't look like Robot scouted much, so at least he, he now knows where the Agricore is. <laughs> more, more dogs coming in. Robot is definitely a dog enjoyer. I mean, who isn't, right? Um, imagine if these were like five Great Danes running at you. That would be scary. Oh, just, oh no, so much stuff running. Just, just, oh, just terrible popping macro, just micro coming out from the Agricore. Olivez are just getting really flustered there and just lost so many units for free and just the timing is just terrible nothing's coming together he's just sending in units after units to die oh this could have been so good if he timed it all perfectly but he just hasn't timed it well at all he's 
got some cab, he's got some goons, he's got some minimen, he's got some rad push, he's got some sepoy, but they're just getting absolutely melted by the Spanish army. Oh, hi -ya. this is just painful for Oliveza. Just didn't time it all right. It could have been beautiful, it could have been something beautiful. It could have been a Mona Lisa, but... No, 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 it turned into a four-year-old painting instead. The dogs are going to be going on these... Ah, oh, look, just... Making such great use of these dogs. Look, they just melt these uh, Gurkhas. Oh, God. So much use out of these dogs. We've got the classic drag box micro from uh, Robot here. Still has one Falconet on half HP. A Sepoy batch coming out here from the TC. Still H2 for Oli, though. He's going to try and do a villager pull to take out this last 109 HP. But he just hasn't got many villagers there and robots on the case just knows what's coming. Is he going to be able to take the Falcon down? He is. Uh, mission accomplished, but at what cost? Robot on 22 bills. Oli on 20. He did lose a lot there, but that's not terrible. But is this force big enough? He doesn't actually have a lot of siege. That could be a problem for Robot. He actually doesn't have a lot of siege. None of these units have particularly good siege, particularly the, uh, the Bonaleros. But his Agrifort is down. So there's, other than TC Fire, there's nothing that's going to do much. And I just realised how many goats Ollie has. Um, remember, they get a, India gets a bonus of 0 .9, uh, 0 0.08 XP per second. So that's a that's a almost 0.8, um, probably about a TP's worth of goats there. So that was really nice edge one. Nice pops coming out though. Oh, the rad push didn't. Oh, I'm not sure. If he wanted to do that, the Radpush really needed to connect on these Lancers. The goons and the dogs are just making sure I got these goons. Oh god, these, these dogs have more HP than the goons. Crazy. Rod Lair is popping on the goons again. Uh, the Radpush are doing work though. The, the Settler Villager pool is in there as well, so they're going to be distracting uh, the Lancers and the Spanish units. They're just soaking up that damage, allowing the Radpush more time to do more damage, but Again, again, Oli just messing up his pops, messing up where the units are spawning. And uh, Robot just in your face at, you know, 7 minutes, 7 minutes, 30 mark, and there's the GG. Oh, it's just so beautiful seeing Robot again. So beautiful seeing Robot again. Um, 17 bills ended on Oli, 25 for Robot. He did have capitalism, though, as a trickle. Um, Oli did have two wood trickles, though, as well, and he had some really nice goats. So, you know, couldn't have gone much better start for Oli, but just, just really unfortunate. The, the pop was terrible. You know, he he had like three flanks potential, three potential flanks, but they were just all coming in, and then a couple of seconds later they were pulling away. Oh, it's just horrible. It could have been really, really good by Oli, but it unfortunately wasn't. This TP and the dogs. My advice to anyone watching, if you get the opportunity to take down the Spanish Explorer, take it down. The Spanish Explorer won that entire game for Robot and uh, just the, the experience from Robot they're really showing. Take a quick look at the, uh, the, the macro counts. Only made it up to 29. We're still winnable at this point. We're still winnable here. But again, just the rad put pop at the end just wasn't where it needed to be. All resources, pretty close, pretty standard stuff. GG, well played. Well played.